and I especially hope you're enjoying your April craft box. The theme for this month's craft box is April showers. And April showers bring May flowers, so of course we have lots of flowers in this craft box. And I'm going to go through all the items that are included in your craft box and then also work with you showing you a project that I've created. So one of the best parts of the craft boxes that we love to share with you are our dies. This one is called Umbrella Flowers. You are getting 11 actual dies in this set. You have the umbrella, you have the umbrella if you want to embellish it with the handle and all the additional pieces. You have a little bird, you have the butterfly, all sorts of flowers that are included, 11 in total thinlets. It's a great deal. You also are gonna get the floral borders. Now this one has four dies in it. Now it doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you look at the detail that's included in this die set, oh my word, you're gonna get the foliage, you'll get the flower centers, and if you can tell with the blades here, they will cut all the areas, but they also leave some parts uncut. So it kind of creates a border within your material that you're cutting. So part of it will protrude and I'll show you with my project what I'm talking about when I show you that. But this one is a great set with all the different pieces. This one's also great with all the different parts and pieces included in this. So April flowers bring May flowers and April showers bring May flowers. And with all the parts included, I look forward to seeing all the things that you'll create with this, especially because in this set, you will be getting all sorts of cardstock. So the cardstock that we're including in this are 10 shades that we've selected that will be perfect for any of your makes using our cardstock. Now, if you're familiar with our cardstock, it's a perfect weight, not too, too heavy, but not thin at all. So it creates great folds, it creates the perfect die cut, it has a texture on one side and smooth on the other. So included in your set, you have the uh, Cherry Blossom, you have Limoncello, you will also get Arctic Sky, which is this pale blue, I don't know if you can tell by the camera. You're gonna get Bluebell, you will also get uh, Agave, which is this kind of a hint of green. It's beautiful. Let me put these down so I can get the other ones out. You will get Earl Grey, which is a great earth tone, grayish shade. You'll also get um, Banana Blast, Mint Julep, which has a perfect name because it's very minty. You get Lush Leaves, Lavender Dust, hibiscus, which is one of my favorites, and primrose. So I can imagine the things that you'll create with all these beautiful spring flowers, especially with the dice that are included in your set. Another must-have, we also love to share with you white cardstock. You can never have too much, and you will get five pieces of heavy white cardstock in your set. And one of the extra bonuses is are opulent. So we're sharing with you silver. You will have the glitter. You'll have all the different five surfaces of the opulent. So it's silver. You will get the glitter. You'll get the pearl. And I don't know if you'll be able to tell here, but when you get it in person, you will love it. You'll get the mirror, which kind of speaks for itself. You can see all my background <laughs> in that reflection. And you will get brushed metal and also the mat. So all of these will just add the perfect embellishment to any of your projects with everything that you create. Also included in your craft box is our express glue. Can't live without this. It's strong, it dries quickly. You can position it, reposition it once. It's still a little bit damp, but as soon as it dries, it's set and it's good to go. So it won't move anything around when you're mailing any of your um, cards or projects or putting in a home decor, it'll stay put. And it's a great, great uh, glue. And you get a lot in this um, bottle and it goes a long way. Another bonus in here is one of our making, two of our making essentials. You're gonna get two pots of our glue, sorry, our glitter. This is our biodegradable glitter. You're gonna get the uh, cherry blossom and also the Arctic sky. You're gonna love it. It's great. It's a great embellishment to add to any of your projects and it coordinates perfectly with the cardstock that's included. So I'm gonna put these off to the side. One more little treat in there is if you're familiar with our effects range, you are gonna get a coupon in your craft box. It's 10% off of the effects range. And if you've looked at any of our videos, or if you haven't, go back and re-look at some of them on Facebook or on YouTube, and you'll see the range that we've created and all the different things that you can create with our effects range, whether it's a paste or any of the um, de deco decorative foils, all sorts of luster wax, 
great project that you can create with that. So this is a coupon that you can use on our website to order anything at 10% off in the effects range. So let me put that off to the side and then let me share with you the project that I'm gonna walk you through. This is using the floral borders. So I've also included our glue to add some of the glitter onto that and then just cut up some of the foliage and then recut some of the same pieces in the floral border to create a little more embellishment on this little card. I tied it together with just a simple ribbon and it just gave you an idea of how you can use those borders to create a gate fold invitation or a card. If you're having a little tiny dinner party, this would be a great little thing to have at their table where it's telling them what you've served or what they're gonna be enjoying. So this is a great little thing. It can be added to a card. It could lay a little gift card on the inside. It would great little embellished images on the front using the same die set throughout. I could have asked, actually used some of the um, flowers that are included in the umbrella flower set and then added those too. But for this particular project, I only used all the embellishments and all the pieces that are included in the floral border. So I'm gonna put this down and I'm gonna to have to turn my camera down since I'm home by myself and nobody's here to film me. So I'm gonna turn it down, so bear with me. And I'm gonna angle it down onto my work area so you can have the machine in full view. So I'm using my Big Shot Fold Away machine. Hopefully the camera stays steady here. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I did. So I cut the paper to uh, four inches by, actually let me measure it here. <laughs> I six by four and a half. So six by four and a half, I cut this. And then at the one and a half inch mark is where I did my score line. So it'll fold perfectly. I mean, I could have done a larger card. I just did this length because I knew this is the length of the um, actual floral border. So the dies in the floral border are these here. And then the foliage and then the floral centers. So this particular border is the one that I used on my uh, project. So what I did first is I wanted to make sure that all of these pieces are included in the actual uh, project. So since this part here, if you can tell, this has no blade on this straight line. The blades are gonna be all here and all in here. There's no blade here on the side or here, so it's not gonna cut. So I'm gonna make sure that this part there where there's no blade is just gonna be pretty much at the score line of my project. So if you can see there, as long as the tips of the foliage is at the edge of my cut card and then I center it, it's good to go. So to make sure that it does not um, shift, I'm gonna use our maker's tape. And this is just a low tack tape that I like to use that'll keep everything in place. So just in case it goes down through the machine, I don't want it to shift. So let me reposition it again, center it there on my panel. And then I'm just gonna tape it down on that one side. And then I'm gonna go ahead and run it through my big shot folder. So what I like to do is just go partially till I can hear it click and then go, cause I don't want it to cut into the back. Just in case my flowers are towards the back of the card, I didn't want it to cut through that back part. So if you can see, the way the die is designed, which I love, it partially cuts out the areas. So I'm just gonna take my die pick and just show you here how it didn't completely cut out everything. So part of it stays embedded or stays attached, I should say, to the actual card. So it makes a beautiful design and you're able to tell that it's partially gonna cut out. Now, the way they designed it, these parts did come out these parts of the foliage did come out, but the other ones didn't. So I just like to bend them up just a little bit. Same with these little pieces here. If you wanna go from the back side, you could do that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go ahead, go through the back side, just to pop those through that way. Okay, now, since this is gonna be the mirror image of this side, if I went ahead and did it the same way, it's not gonna be the mirror image. So what I'll need to do is bring this underneath. So if I did it just like this, just the way I did this one, it won't look bad. It just won't be the mirror image. So the mirror image would be the opposite side. So I'm gonna bring the blade and have it cut underneath it. So line it up the same exact way. 
bring it down just a little bit. So if you can see that like that. So it's gonna cut from the inside of the card out. That way it's gonna match up the opposite mirror image of the side that I just cut. So let me gonna go ahead and position that down. Actually, let me turn it this way. So using any of the cardstock colors, I mean, the, um, the ideas that you could come with, I can't, we can't wait to see. If you post them and tag us, we'd love to see what you create with the craft boxes or any of our other um, product that we come out with. So if you can tell what I did here, is since I did it the opposite way, the blade went that way, this is the mirror image of the opposite side. And you'll be able to see better when I kind of pop it, poke it through. And you can see how they're matched up the opposite image of the one on the opposite side. That way it kind of gives, um, it kind of looks like equal matching up on the opposite side. I mean, it doesn't look bad the other way. Like I said, it just um, gives it more of a balanced design if it's the same one going the opposite direction. And you'll see what I mean when I get these all popped out. And the little pops parts that come out, like this little tiny star type, you want to save those because those are be any any color or the same color, same against the same tone. It makes a great design. So if you can tell, let me bring that one out just a little bit more. The reason, the way that I cut it, it gives you the opposite image on the other side. So here's the same flower over here. Otherwise, it would have been down a little bit and the flowers, the leaves would have been going that way and you want them to kind of meet in the middle. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I did want earlier the same idea in white so maybe you could see it a little bit better or understand a little bit better in the white. Okay, so that's that. So I have that all ready to go. What I did next is I took the same die and I cut it two times. Actually, I'm gonna do the foliage and everything all at the same time, and I'm gonna do it um, just so to save time also. So it's the foliage and the floral centers. So here's the foliage. If I wanna do it, I'm gonna cut it twice. Since you can cut two at a time um, of our thinlets, as long as they're not too intricate and to save time, I'm gonna cut two at a time of the foliage. So here's two pieces on top of each other. I'm gonna do the blade up on this one. It depends on where you're cutting. If it's real intricate, you can do blade up on the, um, the machine. And on the sides of the machine, just a good rule to remember, the sides have more pressure. So if you notice something might not be cutting the way you like it to cut, cut it on the sides of the machine. And when it rolls through, then you'll know it cut well because that's where there's more pressure. So I'll just show you that on this one. So I'm gonna do the center flowers, center of the flowers and the foliage. Foliage is I'm cutting two at a time. And I'm gonna cut this one more time in white just so you can see the reason I did that. Okay. I don't need the machine anymore, I believe, after that. So I'm just gonna put that off to the side. And these cut out perfectly. They're already out and they're inside the die. So I'll use my die pick to take it out, but just see how perfectly it cut the two pieces of the foliage. Put those off to the side so it cut them all. So these are all here ready to go. Okay, and then here is the floral center. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pop these out. We have our little poke holes in the back so you won't ruin any of your material that you're cut. Just go through the poke hole with your die pick and they pop right out. Okay, so this one here, the reason I cut this out in white is because I wanted to just embellish my card a little bit with just a contrasting color. So with the whites here, I went ahead and I cut this two times because I needed both sides. And I just went along the cut lines. So I'm gonna cut along here and just go along it. And the only reason I'm gonna cut it is because I want this to be in another leaf on top as another embellishment. So you can just cut it through like this along the sides that are still connected. So I'm not gonna go through the whole thing. I have some already cut. So I did both the long um, leaf, the more long uh, palm fronds, I should say. So I needed two of each just because I have 
two on the identical side matching up on my gatefold. So you're gonna save two of those. You also want to do these individual leaves as well because those are the ones that I use to create the pieces here. So it's you know they're gonna match up perfectly because this is the same die that I use. So I have these already cut and ready to go. So I'm just gonna show you how I assembled it. Put all my goods here off to the side. So here's the project here. Let me bring this down a little bit. Maybe I'll be a little bit better. Hopefully you can see. Hopefully that helps a little bit closer. Uh, so I'm, I, I'll lift it up too, just so you can see. So, so you know that this matches up against this because I use the actual same die. So there's not gonna be no size difference. And I always like to do a little puddle of glue on my work area just so I can have it handy. I'm just gonna do it a little bit, just at the base. So there's a little bit glue on the base and I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down because I still want it to have a little um, whimsy to it and I want it to lift up and have a little dimension. A little bit of dab glue there. And I'm gonna take the other one and lay that down there on that side, just like that, okay? I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. Now, when you do the opposite side, remember you're gonna do the other side of your uh, leaf just because it's going the other direction. So lay that down there like that, bend it up a little bit. So it gives it a little dimension again, a little bit on the base here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and adhere that down. So if you have all your pieces ready to go, they just it all comes together pretty quickly. So what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna add just these individual leaves here. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on each one. You could either do it on the white or you could do it on the, the big card base. Um, let me go ahead and lay that one down. Oops. Position that down so that one's ready to go. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, that part's all set. And then I'm gonna go ahead and lay the other white pieces down. It all, once it all starts coming together, it's almost like have making a flower arrangement. All the parts start matching up and kind of comes to life, which makes it fun. Sometimes your projects end up being better than you thought they would be while you're making it. Hey, I'm pretty good. <laughs> okay, put this leaf down. And do the same one on this side. So you can see how that's all coming together. Do the same exact on the opposite side. Just do my little puddles of leaves, I mean of glue here. Position that down. And you're only going to position the base because you kind of want it to still have a little bit of a dimension, like I said, so it'll pop up a little bit. And it's kind of fun when they receive something in the mail and it's a little bit more jazzy than they expected. These parts also come out, so I'm just going to go ahead and pop that out. Put a little bit more adhesive on these last four little leaves here. Glue those down. And they can kind of pop it up when they receive it, or if you just attach it to the base or to the front of a gift, it'll already kind of uh, come to life with the, um, you don't have to fluff up the um, petals or the leaves. Put that there. Okay, so as you can see, let me close that up. So you can see that's already starting to jazz up. So what I did next is, I wanted to add a little color to my, uh, the base of my, the, sorry, not the base, the edges of my flowers and then also these individual pieces. So what I like to do, whether I use a little toothpick or my dye pick, and when I use my dye pick, I go ahead and rinse it off right away with um, with my soapy water just to get that off and the, the express glue comes off beautifully with that. So I like to pop that out first, just so I know where the edges are gonna be when I'm going to put the glitter on it. So I like to bend that up a little bit 
And same with these here. That's where I also added some of my uh, glitter and then these individual leaves. So a little puddle of glue onto the side. You almost like wanna brush it on. Actually to save time, I'll just put it with my fingertip. And then I will add a little bit more to the edges of these flowers. And I'm gonna use my funnel tray, just so you can see how great the little gadget is that we have. Um, it collects your glitter, your embossing powder, whatever you're needing, whatever you're using that you don't use all of it and there's so much excess left over, you don't wanna throw it out and you don't need any kind of little um, folded piece of paper. This is great and it's uh, there's no static. It's perfect. So I'm gonna take my, um, I believe it's cherry blossom. Oh, it's, sorry, it's ballet slipper. I told you guys the wrong color earlier. So it's ballet slipper and the funnel tray. I'm just gonna dab this onto there. Put it on the edges of the flowers. And see, I'm using more than what I need just because I'm just gonna tap it off. And you can see where it just picked up, actually picked up some that I didn't want it to pick up because I had some glue on that leaf, darn it. So you can keep going back in. I noticed I didn't have enough glitter on that one. Or this one. All these little individual petals, you just want to add a little bit more glitter. And you just keep kind of going back and forth till you get the amount that you want on there. And since this is kind of a whimsy type card, it doesn't have to be perfect. And then what I like to do is take one of the center flowers. So this little center piece that came with the die set. So when this part cut out, that creates this little piece. So I just cut it again in um, yellow or the limoncello. And I'm gonna put that in the center there. And put a little bit more glue on my flower. So add a little more glitter to it here, to the areas that it missed. You could put more on than you would, would think you would need. It just depends on how heavy you want it to be. So one of the things I like about this glue is also when it's still wet, I can scrape away the areas that maybe I did not want it to adhere. So that's that one side there. Another thing that I did is I added, oops, I added more, um, a little more color to my um, project. And with my um, mint julep, remember, remember earlier I had cut the same leaves. So cut these in the mint julep color. And adhere that down and adhere that down onto that side. So you can see how it's all coming together. And do the same thing on the opposite side. A little puddle of glue. Kind of use my glue, or sorry, my dye pick as a paintbrush. You gotta work a little quickly so it doesn't dry as you're doing the other petals. A little wooden skewer and one of your really fine paint brushes would also work well. You just obviously want to rinse it off quickly um, when you're done so it'll come off. But this Express Glue rinses off really well and cleans up really well. So I'm going to go ahead and add that to that side. Kind of tap it underneath it to make sure it adhered. And so I did the edges there, and then I'm gonna put a couple more dabs of glue here. And there's that. And then this little piece also didn't pop out, so I wanna pop that out. Let me do these other little pieces of foliage here. Add my glue, my glitter onto that. You just kind of want to put it wherever you think you want to add glue. You could do it on the edge. You don't have to cover the actual die pieces that popped out. Add more to my puddle. I'm going to put a little bit more glue on these little foliage pieces that are also popped out and just adds a little more character and 
embellished embellishness is that a word to my project go ahead pop that down okay let me the last bits i'm going to add my green to these pieces here stuck together so whichever leaves you want they don't match up exactly because it's a totally different leaf but it just adds a little more fun to that project and then let me put one more dab of glue in the center for my flower center and there we have it So obviously you wanna wait for that to dry to create the finished piece. I also had taken a small um, piece of white cardstock, also included in your kit, and you could either use our double-sided adhesive tape runner or more of your express glue. And I'm just gonna go ahead and lay that down there on there wait for it to dry up before I add my ribbon. You would just go ahead like you would normally do a little tie, tie it around, add the little bow. Maybe I can, I'll just do it above the flowers just so you can get an idea. And then I'm gonna show you how great the funnel tray works. Let me see if I can, how well I can tie this without somebody holding down their finger. Don't mind my glittery fingertips. Go ahead. Dries pretty quick, so it's actually almost dry. If I can tie this on my own, I'll give it one more try. If not, I'm sure you guys can get the idea. Oh yeah, I did it. Okay, so there's that one all done, ready. I'm sure you guys will be able to wing it and figure it out. I hope that also helped you out to give you an idea of what you can do with your floral border. So this is what I love about our funnel tray and the reason it's so fabulous. You're just going to tap everything down towards the center and you'll see, I'm just going to unscrew this and you'll realize how much I actually didn't end up even using. Just pour it all back in your little pot. And you've got more to use for your next project. And don't forget, you've got that other great blue color also included in your set. So let's, let me show you really quick another idea, the same idea. You can embellish it however you'd like. I just laid another piece of white on the other side. This would be a great little gift card that you can send to somebody. You can embellish with, with um, some just the centers. You could just add a little center of the glitter or just put some little... Um, Sprinkle of some more of those individual little star type uh, shapes that also cut out. Add those to that. It's a great little gift enclosure to add to a gift. Here's another take on that same die set, the floral border die set that I just used. I cut out in another flower exactly the same, but completely covered it in the ballet slipper glitter and added one of the centers. And this could be a great little card. It could be a card that you would put your little sentiment that way or hold it vertically, but that's another idea, adding that one bold flower, cut it out of the, once it's cut, and then add glitter to that. And then finally, just another technique, same, same die set, but using the other flower. And then I just cut it on a, um, cut it at an angle. So this would be a great card. It could be an invitation. Mother's Day is coming up in the U.S. So this is another nice little spring card that you could uh, create. I don't know if you could tell, but one of the things I love about our super glue is it dries super shiny. So I like to add it to different pieces just to add a little more oomph to my card and almost gives it a plasticky epoxy type coating. So that's kind of another fun thing. So I just completely brushed that with the express glue and it dried shiny and just added a little more um, fun to the project. So that is it. Let me go ahead and turn the camera off, not off, up, so I can say bye. And that should do it. 
thank you so much for joining me. I hope everybody's doing well, and I look forward to seeing you again next time. Thanks again. Take care.